Today we are at Gum Flu in Marion County. We're out here to use some new mobile mapping technology with iPads. And what was the species coverage? Today we are collecting submerged aquatic vegetation data, which we call SAV. Total SAV for Station 1. My name is Danielle Rogers. I'm an environmental project manager. And I've been working on this mobile mapping project for two years. I'm really excited about this. This has involved securing equipment, i.e. the iPads that we'll be using today, developing the surveys so that we can actually enter the data directly into the iPads. And then that data is going to sync up into the cloud and immediately create maps for us that will show spatial trends. Spatial data is data that is presented where in the world it exists. For instance, if you think about your phones and when you use the maps on your phone to get directions, that's spatial data in your phone directing you where to go. This project was a success because of the teamwork and collaboration of various district experts. We can be innovative and we can still be transparent also because this is going to allow us to easily display the information for folks in a way that they can understand it. First thing we're gonna do is take our GoPro and take a video of what's actually along the river at that place. Then we're gonna look at the vegetation that's along that line and start recording what vegetation is there and how much. We're gonna enter that information into the iPads. We're gonna collect the spatial location, the where is it in the world information, and that's what's gonna get stored in the iPad and eventually sync up to the cloud. At the completion of this project, we're gonna save a lot of staff time by not having to transcribe the information from paper format into digital format. This project has been a personal goal of mine. I am a huge GIS dork. GIS is Geographical Information Systems, so that's that spatial data. I'm a huge fan on being able to tell a story with our data, and when it's spatial in nature, meaning understanding where in the world this data exists, you need maps to be able to do that. Being able to collect this data with the iPads electronically and immediately create the maps helps us immediately tell that visual story in a way that people can understand it.